One down, plenty more to come at the Brisbane Global Rugby Tens. An upset in the first half game with the Panasonic Wild Knights knocking off the Melbourne Rebels. The next two teams in Pool A are the Blues and the Reds. Sean Maloney in commentary alongside me, former Wallaby Fly Half World Cup winner Rod Kafer. How do you see this one unfolding? Sean, an interesting team from the Reds, young and experienced, a good combination. Of course, the Blues, so much firepower out wide. They've got plenty of try scorers in that back line. And I with lots to do and some depth on the bench as well. Can't wait to see Caleb Clark get another touch in the number seven jersey today for the Blues. He was enormous in the HSBC Sevens World Series last week for New Zealand. There's a look at the Reds for the pack. Kane Douglas, Reece Hewitt, former Aussie under-20s player. Brendan Paying Amosa. Word is up in this part of the country that Paying Amosa has been braining them through the preseason and he's right in the frame to potentially start for the Queensland Reds. Week one of Super Rugby, good talent coming off the bench as well for the Reds. So the home side are going to receive here. And it will be the Blues with ball in hand. That is Tanielu Talia. Sends it deep. It says to the Reds in the white jerseys, running right to left, you can have a crack from deep inside your 22. There's Hamish Stewart with an early touch. The boom youngster, long-term signing for the Queensland Reds under Brad Thorne. There's Payne Gramosa with his first carry. Nice pop ball off the deck there. Slipper. Slips into fly half, nice ball placement. Trying to work their way out of their 22. Stewart opts for the boot and sets up the chase out wide. Down Gunu is a crossing cover. It's a nice little offloading contact, though, and here come the Blues straight onto the attack. Danger Blues with numbers to the right. Good shuffle across the line there as well. And room here for one of their bigger runners. The Blues, Melanie Nanai. He can do all sorts of damage. Nanai. One of the Blues' best finishes. He's calling for it again here. Nanai gets a nice flat ball. Dummies on the outside. Looks to free the ball in field. Brought down well there by Samu Karevi. Good face play here from the Blues. There's Taniel Talia. Now the scoop and go. Oh, nice. A chance here for the Blues to open with the first try. They're three away. Penalty advantage for the high shot too. A little bit of patience shown by the Blues. They're going up tempo early on. A metre away from their first try here in Brisbane. At the Global Rugby Tens, good tackling stops Taniela Talia. Out of the short side, lovely hands across the line. Finds Jimmy Tupo. Almost spins out of the tackle there. They're loaded up to the right. Here the Blues steer back in field. And there's the first one for Tumani. If you're going to kick in seven, in tens rather, just like sevens, you've got to get the thing off the field. Hamish Stewart felt the pressure, slid the ball through, and then it was the Blues for the next couple of minutes, just building, building. Inevitably, they get the fluoro green ball across the line. The Gilbert likes the white line. So they dominate field position early on the Blues. They ring the changes. The conversion attempt. Looking for the power fade. Stays out to the left. And the score stays. The Blues at Auckland 5. Queensland Reds get a score. Horribly ugly off the boot, that drop kick. Almost almost swung it back though the other way. Classic dead duck <laughs> through the air. Yeah, yeah. Just make You'll sure notice that Carlos there. Spencer... The Blues wild card not in the team list for this one. Hopefully see him later in the tournament. Late day impact, I think, Sean. Yeah, and he'll do well when he gets on. He's ripped. Still is Carlos Spencer. There's Douglas with his first carry. And now the penalty for the Blues. They hop straight back. 
in an attack with Tanur Manu. Yes, time on the bike's good. He's 15 away. Now the Reds counter beautifully themselves and shift it to the right. An opportunity for the Reds down Gunu. Fed there by Karevi. Here he is, the live wire flyer down Gunu. The top try scorer in the NRC last year. He's turned it back though, couldn't get the ball placed him right. The Blues flood in and now the Reds flood in. Great counter, a chance here for the Reds. Goes out the back. Was there a hand on that one? There was. That'll be a penalty. And it should be a yellow card. Yeah, definite knockdown there. No intention of trying to catch that ball. The hand was only going one way and the ball following. No. A little bit of Roger Federer, a forehand slap. Yep. Yeah, it's like a volleyball spike. Yeah, there we go. Watch it. Bang. Yeah, that is a yellow card every day of the week. Reds, a little bit of issue around their breakdown. Haven't quite got the bodies in motion to get close enough to the ball carrier and leaving themselves vulnerable to the turnover. Blues all over and hungry for the ball. Already got a couple. Nice clean ball off the top from the Reds. Stewart out the back for Karevi. Karevi. Pops it up off the deck beautifully, but he found a blue jersey, not a white one. And now the New Zealanders swing into action. That is a line ball, but they've set up a flyer. There's Jordan Highland peeling off some good metres down that left-hand side. Looking for back-to-back -back scores here, the Blues. And there are numbers to the right and room to move. The pass is a shocker. Can they consolidate anyway? In and away and then rocked. And the tackle was Caleb Clark. Well, all you've got to do is put the ball into the hands of Caleb Clark, and he'll do the rest. Tries the call. You pass. The ball was outside of the tackle. Initially, it looked like there were some dramas around it, but this kid is the real deal. Yeah, good finish in the end. Had some work to do. Poor pass. Regathered. Kane Douglas gets a big shot on him as well. And then he came, again, the Gilbert finding the chalk. That all coming about off the back of the loose pop off the deck from Samu Karevi. Again, the conversion oh, is off to the left. Worst I've seen, worse than the first one, that but, conversion. There'll be some good ones to come and some tricky ones as well. Rocked him. Caleb Clark, son of a Ronnie. Oh, sure. One of the great centres of Ronnie yep. Clark. Similar build, and yeah. we saw him last week with the All Black Sevens in Hamilton, destroying sides along with Nanai Satoro. That's a bit of drop kick. And oh. then we'll just check inside the field of play. Down Gunu, down Gunu, goes close to the line, gets greedy with the real estate, and gets thrown over the chalk. Beautiful kickoff, hung it up, inch perfect. Then Gunu had to head off the right foot, head in field, and just consolidate. What was a great kickoff. Reds. Just not coming to grips with the format of the game yet. Well, the Reds haven't carried the ball inside the Blues 40. Yeah. Haven't got close yet. No. Blues again. And as the Reds get a little bit tired, they're making the substitutions, but starting to feel that that's not straight. Nice trick play to the front. Play on for the Blues. To the midfield. Good line. Oh. The line was good. The handling not so much from Tamari Kua. And we'll come back. Pack a scrum down. Reds feed. Opportunity now for the Reds. See how they're going to fare. Hamish Stewart in the midfield getting a reasonable shot on. Did enough to dislodge the ball. Crouch. James Tuttle, Bobby Tuttle Set. on in the 14 jersey. Expecting a big year from him in Reds colours as well. They go to the far side oh. through the Reds. This guy's electric. Lovely ball out the side, but Tuttle can't get his hands on it. It's in a touch. Nothing will come of it, but expect a whole lot of more of that from that this year as well from that man. Got some shoes, Shawnee. Got some feet. Just needs to park that ball. 
take the tackle and not push a pass when you've beaten three. Leading try scorer last year in the NRC was Filippo Daungunu, former Fijian under 20 goalkeeper. Wow. Soccer. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he can catch. Can't get pass. Back, can catch. Back. Oh, he can pass. Don't worry about All that. Right. He can run. Wow. Penalty advantage here for the Blues. Reds offside. Karevi goes in and makes the tackle. But they'll go back to the midfield for the penalty to the Blues, who will most likely relieve with a kick to touch here. You can take their time now and just suck in the big ones, force the Reds back into their own half. Reds just no control over the ball and therefore no control over field position always for the first six minutes here have been on the back foot. Sean, you need to find a way to get into the game. They do, but we did see it in the first game with the Rebels leading the Panasonic Wild Knights 17-0 before being run down 19-17. So there is a whole lot of rugby to come in this one. Ten-minute halves in the world of tens. Truckloads of time. Plenty of time. Got to defend well here from this set piece. Nice fade ball. Brought in nicely by the Blues. Oh, that's a nice initial shot from down Gunnar. Now he's going to ride the runner into the turf. Great power in the carry there from Caleb Clark. Like the right way the Reds are getting off the line. Now the kick in behind. Going to catch the Reds out of position. Cleaned up by James Tuttle and... We'll come back for the 22. Caleb Clark carrying Filippo down Gunu there, 15 metres on his back. At least Reg forced the kick and the error from the Blues with their good line speed. Smart play from the Reds. A couple of the substitutions coming onto the field. Take McDermott out there. He's a teenager, this bloke, Rod Kafer. Watch this. Filippo Danguna, 100 kilos on the back. Just come with me. Come this way. Love it. Crouch. McDermott about to feed the scrum. He's got the David Barnhill tape around the ears. I like the look of that. McDermott, a former Aussie sevens player. That's an awful hook at the back. Karevi. Keeps it alive for Danguna. They're just not getting it. Working right there. Now the Blues go quickly. Off through Trainer. You lost! You lost! Shape across the park now through Murphy Taramai. Lovely little tuck ball there as well. Create some space. Now the short side, another ball for Clark. Almost found the target. And that was going to be 15 zip. In a blink. Yeah, Reds, their defence has just improved last couple of minutes. They've increased that line speed. Their connection's a little bit better. They're starting to work into the match. Important now, minute to go in the half. Can the Reds go coast to coast and put a score on? It's been all the Blues the first half. Critical play. Of course, the Blues looking to steal it. Andrew Reddy. Nice throw from Reddy. McDermott for Stewart. Stewart to Karevi. Big minutes for Down Gunu. Has not left the field just yet. Nine minutes to his name. Everyone else getting plenty of time on the bench. Risky ball from Stewart, but finds Reddy. And they sweep down this near touch line. Didn't have a fly though. It was a big man trying to carry forward there for them. Harry Hooper it was. McDermott kicking ahead for himself. The sweeper back there for the Blues. The bounce though is okay for McDermott. And it sits up beautifully. He links here on the outside. In and away they are gone. Here comes a great bit of cover defence. The Reds still an attack here. McDermott driven back. Karevi collared high. Stangunu cleans out. Looking for their first try at home. Stewart. With a crossfield kick. Oh, no. Not the play when you've got a prop. You've got big JP Smith 
charging down the left touch line. He's saying, Hamish, hammer, no! <laughs> I haven't got the wheels to get there for that. And at half time, it is the Blues up against the Reds. 10 points to nil. Here's a look at the closing stages of the first half. Tate McDermott, great head on a swivel play, got the bounce. You thought they were off and gone here. It looked like a certain try coming there for Lachlan Maranta. He got mown down with a try line calling his name. Samu Krebi, that was, when well, we called that live, Rod Kafer, that yeah. was high. Yeah, got him right across the beak. No problems there. High tackle. Didn't get the penalty. Then the crossfield kick. Out on the fly. Out on the full. Oh, well. Reds, Reds fought their way back into that. They started off a little bit shell-shocked. Gradually improved as the half went. The Blues on fire early. And then had a couple of opportunities they didn't quite finish. It's a good afternoon to you watching on via Sky Sports over in New Zealand as well. Hope you're enjoying watching the Blues do their thing, particularly those of you watching on in Auckland. Some encouraging signs early on from your man. Two weeks out from the start of Super Rugby. They are up by 10 here against the Queensland Reds, the hosts who have been camped in their half for the majority of this game. Off and racing again. Second half play, pool A action. The Brisbane Tens be carry once more there from Murphy Taramai. Some real purpose in these runs of the Blues throughout. Always busting through and getting across the game line. Hit the swivel there from Dalton Apali'i. In possession, key here for the Blues. They keep it alive down. Gunu oh. reads it well and makes the stop shot. No. Had to make that hit. They were queued up to the left. Great feet from Johnny Nanai there. Papali'i. Plenty of blue jerseys over to the right. That's the way they go. Lovely ball round the back from Talia. Keeps it alive for his side. Or fighting in contact. He's excellent here from the Blues. And now they come over the top. Great run, too. Again from Nanai. Repeat carries in this passage of play from Nanai. Side to side from the Blues. Now the crossfield kick. Tap back. Major sit up for the Reds, in fact. And off they go. Michael Gunn it was. Up towards halfway. Can this be the turning point for the Reds? Stewart shuffles it across the park to Tupo. Taniel Tupo for Slipper. The props going about their work, connecting there. McDermott. Just checks the run. Comes back for Taniel Tupo. He shuffles it on for Karevi, who leaps over the top. Keeps it alive for Down Goon, who has Tupo on his hip, lost his feet. Down Goon, who almost got through. McDermott for Stewart. Hangaramos, a lovely ball. That needed to go one further. Still with the red zone. Back they come with Stewart. That's a great tackle from Papali'i. Highs the call. Hangaramos! Rumbles it round. The tank was on empty. But he had just enough to score the Reds first. Both teams on the limit. End to end. Reds generate the turnover from Michael Gunn way back when. And then they held onto the ball for a long period of time. Obviously their best play so far in the game. Just worked their way into a try scoring position. One player slips off in defence. For the Blues, or switches off around the ruck, and it's all over. 
Kennedy back to Brendan Payne Grimosa, speaking to some of the Red staff ahead of this game. Rod Kafer, I was saying that he's really worked his way up the pecking order under the guidance of Brad Thorne, formerly with the Souths Club down in Sydney. Played a bit of NRC with both the Rams and the New South Wales Country Eagles. Yeah. Loving his time in Brizzy. How could you not? Got to get the ball back. The Reds, plenty of time left. 10-7 the score. It's a deep restart, though, from James Tuttle. Rock and roll, rock! The Blues take it towards the 22. Limited involvement and game time from Akira Ioane. In this one, he's tailor-made for 10-7s and 15s. Oh, that's a lovely offload, but... Couldn't hang on. Yes. The knock on into on. touch. Play on. He come the Reds. That might have been a late tackle. No, that's all good. Across they go to Jaden Nimanu. And just has a plucked right out of his grasp. Stinging these tackles from both sides. Three points of difference. Back to the midfield. Now some extra width on the ball back in field. This is where they look so good, the Blues. The pass is a pinpoint. Surely another try coming here for the Blues. Desperate cover defence. Puts him down five away. That's well, a good counter act from the Reds. Can they do it? No. Looking to extend here. Up by three, the Blues. They have the Reds cooked out to the left. And that's the way they go across to Melanie Nanai. Spins past Dalgunu. Try. Well, fantastic use of the ball from the Blues. Just one little lapse in defence in the midfield where Blues go left, realise it's not on. Spin it back right. Andrew Reddy just gets caught out, chasing up too hard. Gap in the middle. But what a great scramble. There's some excellent scramble defence here from the Reds. They've all come back. They've all made a line. And in the end, Anai. Too good on the edge, as you'd expect. Conversion. That's a better hit. Just hangs out to the right, though. 15 7 to score. Eight points. The margin. There are the Waratahs. They've just finished their warm up. There's Cam Clark, left of screen. They're about to take on Poe out of France and Paul have a number of world-class players that is going to be a cracking game coming right up off the back of this one around about six minutes away JP Smith builds the restart shuffles it across the line McDermott in the middle for the Manu, JP Smith J.P. Smith. That's a great job of keeping that one alive for Reddy to rumble down the right-hand touchline. A little lateral for the moment. They look to straighten it up through Tuttle, who just runs in to a blue wall on that occasion. Reddy. He's collared with ease. Smith digs it out, finds McDermott. Buckwell's Offload, Buckwell. okay. Now McDermott is scragged, thrown to the turf. Can you the call there? The Player playing it on the ground. Reds are going to score at least <coughs> twice, so need to keep on with it. Yeah, don't mind the tap here, but got to get some life. Got to get going forward. Don't want this bloke to be carrying, though. Another carry from Harry Hooper. Well, challenge. Tidy oh. work from J.P. Smith. He's a ball playing prop. He Shorty. sure is. And he's a handy passer off the deck, too. McDermott stabs it downfield. He wants that to check and stay in the field of play. He needs his chases there. But a blue jersey's back, tidying up. 
I'm not sure the kick's the right option when you're behind by two scores with two to go. Auburn Leger was a man back fielding that, and now an opportunity for his teammate to round this one out. Yeah. Ups and goes again. They look to connect and finish this one off. The Blues so close. The little bounce across the line. The try is good, and it'll go to number six. And that man is Dot Papali. Well, surely come back to that little chip. Little kick, two to go, giving away possession. Possession's a key. Last two minutes of any match. But in tens, come on. 10% of the time, the last two minutes, you want the seed in your hand. Oh, no. It was a strange call given they had the penalty two phases beforehand. They could have yeah. kicked downtown, had the line out down there. No problem. Anyway, um, 20 to 7 is the score. You learn your lessons, mate. This is the big stage for these young players. Now, the Blues cruising under pressure. Only a minute and a half ago. Now they can take their time. The end of back as you do. Good kick off. Try to get near. They'll go deep. Have to. Ledger. Deep to Taniela Tupo. Tupo has angled his runs in this game. Hasn't gone front on as yet. Nemanu. Now the shift across the line for McDermott. Red's just a little bit too lateral. They've got to fix up their running lines. Need to be running straight. Committing players in front of them at the moment. Drifting across field. The Blues, look, no problem. Still all across field. Out a touch better for Tupo. Keeps it alive for Reddy. Reddy. 40 from his line. Douglas gets it across the field and it's a fall for the Blues. It's all about the points differential now. The game's theirs. And so's another five for Melanie Nanai. There's his second. And we mentioned the kick so far. Shawnee, don't kick the ball. Oh, no. I think they've had four tries scored against them from kicks. I can't remember. Someone could tell me. But I think it was four. Kick return. It's just such an open field. And you kick to players who've got capacity to make a broken field break. Hello, the Blues. You're going to find yourself in strife. They have punished the Reds at every turn. We're going to put some sugar on it here. From next to the sticks, the conversion is good. Full-time score reads the Blues 29, the Reds 7. And right now it is the Waratahs and Poe about to do battle. And in the commentary box calling all the action. It's good afternoon to Greg Martin.